people from one frame of mind, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, we can do that. Mm. I just feel like goals and dreams can be achieved, and we proved that. We proved that where we come from, how we believe in ourselves before anybody heard us, before anybody bought our records and supported us. We had to believe in ourselves. So to the youngsters that's out there watching this, this question is for y'all. Do you believe in yourself? Do you Absolutely. believe that you can go? Let me tell you something. Nobody, I, I, I grew up like this. Nobody's ice is colder than mine. Mm -hmm. If you can do it, I can do it too. And if I see it and I want it, I'm going to go get that. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. It's been a ride. I want everybody to walk away extremely inspired. Like, okay. It's, it's like everything that I do is about inspiring and inspiring. You know, I want to be inspired, but I'm going to inspire as well. Me too. Inspiration. Just go download all our records so and put them back up on the number one spot. <laughs> Good plug, Andy. Right, right, right. I didn't even think of that. That was amazing. That was brilliant. That was good. <laughs> I just think that what I want people to walk away feeling is that the world is in a better place for us to be able to perform, for the NFL to give us the opportunity, and for us to just be happy at this time of year and to have fans in the arena and to be able to do this what we do. So I'm just hoping people think the way I think we're back to the way it used to be.
watch Chase Mother's delivery as usual. Look right here, Jay-Z has arrived. I told y'all, it's LA, baby, expect anything. Getting close to the kickoff from SoFi Stadium, but first let's see if the captain in BC is getting ready. Super Bowl 56. What a great day for Los Angeles. How are you doing on my ticket? Uh, well, sir, I texted my friend at the commissioner's office, and he said, really? Now that you need something, you're a terrible person. Which isn't enough. Pizza Hut's here. Hold up. Is that the new Spicy Lover's Pizza? It's not like a commercial. She sounds like someone who respects Pizza Hut's history of pizza vision. Meat lovers, stuffed crust. I didn't eat a vegetable until veggie lovers dropped. My pediatrician says it saved my life. Is that the merit? Burbank in the luxury box? Mm, so spicy. Look at his fiery flakes. Yeah, this is 100% a Pizza Hut ad. If this was an ad, I'd be chewing way slower, like... <laughs> and then a cool voiceover guy would say, No one out pizzas the high! You know what? I'm glad I'm out of the game. Being here with you guys... Oh, sir, my contact at NBC Sports says they have an extra ticket. Yes. This is why I went into politics. <laughs> Try new Spicy Lover's Pizza before it's gone. Only at Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. And Mr. Mayor premieres March 15th on NBC. And my wife needs this surgery. We're not the bad guys. We're just the guys trying to get home. I gotta get back to my wife and my son. No matter what. I'm gonna get you back home, my brother. Ambulance. I'm gonna get everybody home. Rated R. Hey, bud! Thanks for coming out to cheer me on. Dad, I'm, I'm always here. I'm always here for you, too. Okay. Go, Dad. <laughs> Thanks. No, everyone's passing you. Go. You got it, coach. Switch to progressive and you can save hundreds. You know, like the sign says. Come on, first aid. Yeah, let's go. On a trip, book a price line. You save more so you can woo more. Woo. Woo. Yeah, feel the savings. Price line, every trip is a big deal. Series six, and you can listen in. You know that, right? What? Come inside. <laughs> Thank you, man. I was in there just laughing. Come here. Come here. Have to catch an early train. Gotta be to work by nine. If I had an airplane, I still couldn't make it on time. It's just another night. Back to what really motivated us in 2015. Talking about the Super Bowl trophy and what it meant. The Denver Broncos are world champions. He brought that trophy in the locker room for the whole playoffs. I think it's a record, you know. We walk by it every day just for extra motivation and just to remember what we're doing in sports. Having that Super Bowl trophy there definitely motivated me. Super Bowl 50 MVP Von Miller showed up in L.A. Thought he'd be a Bronco for life. Now he's here. They got a playoff run going. So he brought his version of the Lombardi Trophy to lock her a little motivation. That's a team leader. So, appropriately enough, we brought the Lombardi Trophy to the set. A little bit of motivation as they come down to the field in advance of Super Bowl 56. How would uh, you think Von Miller gets used today? What should we expect from him? Well, we've watched him all season since he's been with the Rams rush off the right side. 
but I just watched that MVP Super Bowl tape come rushing off the left side. The Bengals had a little problem on their right side of their offensive line. Maybe just one rush in the fourth quarter when it counts. Vaughn Miller coming off the left yeah, side. Aaron Donald and Floyd might have something to say about that too. They like the rhythm, but listen, Vaughn Miller is a closer. He is a game-ender. You saw it this year against the Ravens. He ended the game with a sack. And then he's also the king of the sack fumble. He, he had one against Brady in the playoffs. So if you need to play in the fourth quarter, final drive to end the game, it's going to be long going. Great coach always told me fourth quarter pass rush decides games often. A wide receiver could decide a game. What up, Beckham Jr.? As we walked down here to the field, I saw you talking to OBJ, Tony. Yes, and it was amazing. I said the last time we saw each other was in Cleveland training camp. Isn't it amazing how the Lord works? We're both here at the Super Bowl. You're having a great year. He gave a shout-out video to my son, Justin, about playing wide receiver. I told him Justin was here watching him in the Super Bowl today. Very different. You would not expect it OBJ to be in the Super Bowl with the story in October before the trade from Cleveland. So the final score, we don't know what it's going to be. Everybody's going to make a pick. We'll make our picks later. But the numbers of the final score matter to a lot of you. It's Super Sunday, and a lot of your parties include squares. You've been divvying them up all week. Well, how about Super Bowl Squares meets Steve Kornacki for a deep dive? Steve, tell us about it. All right, Mike, the Super Bowl Squares, you're all familiar with these, right? You get a big group of people together, you put the grid down, you put one team across the top, we'll use the Rams here, one down the side, we'll use the Bengals then. Everybody just buys a square. You get five bucks a pop, ten bucks a pop, maybe you're like me, and you buy a bunch of squares because you're that desperate, and then you randomly assign numbers, zero to nine, you probably draw them, Go across the top, go down the side. And basically, it works like this. Let's say I had bought this square right here. These numbers are based on each team's score. So I would need the Rams score to end in the number six, and I would need the Bengals score to end in the number zero. That would be the combination I would need to hit. Now, you get four chances to hit the end of the first three quarters and the end of the game, but not all squares are created equal when it comes to a payout. So, for instance, we can show you in the first quarter, if you got the number 0, 3, 7, if you got a combination with any of those three numbers, you're looking pretty good. If you don't, you're in pretty bad shape because look at this, almost 90% of all the first quarter combinations have involved just those three numbers. 3 nothing games, 7-3 to three games, 10-7 to seven games. You know how that goes. And there's one number that's never come up in the first quarter. That's the number 1. No one's ever got like 11 in the first quarter. But as the game goes on, you get into double-digit scores, things get more complicated. For instance, the number one becomes the second most frequent number to hit in the final score. It's actually hit three of the last four Super Bowls. The most common number to hit the final score, by the way, the number seven. And on the flip side of all of this, there's two numbers you really don't want to get stuck with. They are the numbers two and five. They are the least likely numbers to come up at all. And Two and five as a combination, if you draw both the two and the five, that's never hit before. So God help you if you got the two and five out there somewhere, Mike. Well, you're helping people around the country. You help us. We did our own squares pool. And remarkably, Chris Sims drew the two and the five. Hard to believe. Huh? Shocker. I'm rare. That's all I can say. Well, I, that's what happens when you're last in the selections of the, the Sunday Night Football's football line in America for two years in a row. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck with the two and the five. So. <laughs> we keep counting down as the VIPs continue to arrive for Super Bowl 56, about 90 minutes away. We're in Hollywood. A lot of stars coming out to see who's going to play the leading role in this one. We had some of the Rams and Bengals to cast themselves on the big screen. <laughs> Who would play me in a movie? What actor would play you in a movie? I'm good with, uh, man, I gotta go Michael B. Jordan, man. Ice Cube. Matthew McConaughey. Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't know, Romeo? <laughs> no idea. I'll say Will Smith. I'd say Will Smith. Kind of looks like me, too. Fresh Prince. I feel like if I wasn't me, I'd probably be him. Only because I'm so attractive, like... Maybe some kind of mixture of The Rock and Matthew the Time. All right, all right, all right. This portion of the Super Bowl 56 pregame show on NBC was presented by Pizza Hut. At Universal Orlando, we're testing the limits of vacation thrills. Conversion, zero gravity, pull us raptors. Raptors! <laughs> Spider-Man versus bad guys. Let's go. 
magical creatures. <sighs> My flying motorbike. What? <laughs> a dessert. <laughs> on top of a dessert. Oh. Nice. We don't do ordinary quiz. Universal Orlando. Let yourself fall. <laughs> this is who we've been after. Wherever you are, we're coming for you. I got a message for Carol Bashi. Laser focused. I know if we can sit down and talk, we can come in and understand.